Okay, new project. We got a little ash and his boomstick. This is created in the style of the uh, Funko Pops. Found this on Cults 3D. And my daughter and I were both big Evil Dead fans. Uh, Ash Williams was basically her first action movie hero, so I'm loving this little likeness of him. This was very early in my 3D printing when I started. I don't 3D print a lot. It seems like it's more of a hassle nowadays. Uh, I think I'd rather just buy something from someone. I still have my printer. I have an Algumars, which I mean, the if you have printers, the build plate is about the size of my cell phone, so I can't do I can't put a whole lot on them. But I've been able to use it for quite a few things. All right, I'm going to let's see. For him, oh, I gotta mix that up. I'm gonna get some uh, Vallejo Surface Primer, uh, Ghost Gray. I'll get th that on him. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna use the black because I have to put a flesh tone on him, and I really don't want to be fighting black undercoat. So, Surface Primer, Ghost Gray. We're gonna get that on there. Okay, he is primed and ready to go and found some imperfections but you know what I'm no professional at this so I'm gonna let it go and just keep on working on him. All right so we're gonna airbrush some uh, Citadel Cadian flesh tone onto Ash here. Uh, I ended up giving him two coats. You can see this first one very very thin, uh, very very light and there he is with coat number two. Uh, you might know some of the audio in here. It's a little bit different from scene to scene. Some of it was raw audio. Some of it was done after the fact. Pretty much this one was because my dryer was running in the background. So enjoy. All right, so I went through a lot of different colors of blue until I found the one that I really liked. Turned out it was uh, Citadel's McCrag blue. And I actually used the, uh, the air version of it. Uh, it's made for just it's, it's pouring right into your airbrush. Supposed to be no need to thin it down, but I found I found it works uh, works pretty well just right off the brush. Uh, I haven't really used it a whole lot in my airbrush before, but uh, a few few friends that have used these Citadel air paints, they said yeah, you still need to uh, you still need to thin it down a little bit. All right, coming up next, we have one of my favorite colors, Vallejo Model Color Flat Earth. Flat Earth seems to be my go-to for a lot of browns. Uh, I, I think every painter has their kind of favorite color that they tend to use a lot. Flat Earth is one of mine. Uh, also, Citadel Rhinoxide. We're going to start working on the straps that go around his, his waist, uh, his belt, and just going to get a, a base layer on here first and then we'll go back later and clean it up a little bit. Now Rhinox Hide is one of those go-to's for brown leather. It's a really, really good base for it. Uh, it also works really well if you accent it with some oranges to kind of show that worn leather. I didn't do that in this one. I just wanted to make him a little cartoony looking guy. All right, for his eyes, I wanted to be as careful as possible, so I used the thinnest medium possible, which is uh, acrylic ink. This is Liquitex Titanium White. Now, normally I would just go with uh, like a, a really light gray for the whites of the eyes, but like I said before, he's supposed to be like a cartoonish type of character, so I just went with the white. All right, Citadel Abaddon Black. 
Okay, so I'm going to take him outside and give him a matte spray. I'm going to see if I can get some of these shinier spots to dry up. I think that's probably from one of the, uh, it's probably from the, the flow imperver that I added when I switched this the paint to a dropper bottle. But we're going to give it a matte spray so it, his hair doesn't rub off as I'm holding him. And start working on some highlighting on his shirt and clean up some of the uh, straps. All right, going back to the Vallejo model color flat earth for the uh, wood on the boomstick. Real simple paint scheme on this one. Just the uh, flat earth for the wood and then black for everything else with some metallics. And back to our trusty Rhinox hide. We're just going to go in and clean up some of the areas on the belts and straps. Now I did end up doing a little bit of highlighting. This is Citadel Thousand Suns Blue. Even though I just wanted it that cartoony looking uh, paint scheme, uh, I still went and went ahead and did some edge highlighting on here. It actually came out pretty nice too, in my opinion. All right, Citadel Cantor Blue. I used this mainly to give uh, give the hair some definition. You, you, when you look at a comic book, if you've got a character with jet black hair, they usually do this to differentiate it so it doesn't look like one big blob. And to be completely honest, at the end of the day, when, when I look at the figure now, I'm glad I went ahead and did this rather than trying to like dry brush some gray or any other lighter color and just make it look completely different. And the blue gives it a little bit of definition, plus I mean, you're not just looking at just one big thing of black hair. And the one thing I did notice as I was doing this, it looks brighter when I'm putting when I'm putting it on, but as it dries, it it tends to uh, blend in really well. So it's not really stark, big blue streaks that look like they were done on purpose but it gives it a good little accent to, uh, to the figure. All right, so as uh, Ash is getting some blue accents in his hair, if you made it this far, I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, we just recently topped 500 subscribers, so thank you so much if you're one of those 500 plus. If not, I do ask, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get, this, uh, let's get the channel out there. Uh, just want to support a lot of small channels in the coming year. Uh, a lot of people are doing, putting out some really good content and not a lot of people are seeing it. So let's, uh, let's give them some love too. But I've mentioned in the past, one of the reasons I put this channel together, I mean, not only because I have a stash that I want to get through and keep on building and painting models and miniatures, uh, this is another way I keep in touch with my kids. I uh, think we live in separate states, or different states rather, and uh, I see them over the holidays and in the summer. So this is a really good way for them to see what I'm doing and for them to just appreciate what, what the hobby can do for you. All right, Citadel Mephiston Red, getting into the chainsaw. Ash Williams, he's got to have his chainsaw hand. And then we'll go ahead and weather this up in a little bit. Now you're going to see some uh, real quick video here. I just assembled a base. Not this quick, but quick enough. So just wanted to make it look like the uh, part of the cabin floor from, uh, from the Evil Dead movies. There's just putting some weight on those uh, popsicle sticks just use some wood glue and here's some really quick footage just snipping off the ends then I eventually sand them down as well I cut them with the uh, the razor saw and then clean it all up And sand it down.
and I took some uh, I took took my uh, razor blade and just made some cuts into the uh, the top of the wood just to give it some grain all right now we're going with some dollar Rowney sepia ink put I put this on just straight up and it was like way too dark so then I just started grabbing some water out of my uh, my water pot and started thinning it down with uh, with that and the end result I'm really happy with I took a few passes with that up on top with there with the uh, the full force of it but eventually looks like that and turned out uh, really good in the end All right, Evil Dead's got to have some blood, so I used Citadel Technical Blood for the Blood God. Just put on some drops and hit it with the airbrush. Uh, I was hoping for a few, few more sp like spatter effects, but I didn't want to just like put paint on a toothbrush and pull back on it with my thumb and put uh, spray all over the place. So I just did this, a quick and simple base, easy enough to do not too complex so I just I just wanted to just keep it simple all right null oil this is the old version I'm gonna dirty up that chainsaw and this is one of those instances where I'm not too worried if it does pull because it'll just add to the grit and grime of the uh, of the weathering on it Yeah, look at that face. There we go. Looking good. All right, going back to the Citadel Mephiston Red for the cuts on his face. We're getting down to the wire here. Time for the final reveal. Like, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends about it. Let's have some fun with this. So, All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Come back for the next one, please. Hey, if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that playlist on the left-hand side and hit the subscribe button on the right. We'll see you in the next one.